Attention, this is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Do not turn off your televisions. Do not turn off your radios. Do not switch from this channel. It is important that you pay attention. This message is brought to you by the Safety Department of United State of America's Philippine Embassy. If you are an American citizen in the Philippines, this message is for your own safety. Messages getting to us are of an unknown killer who dismember the bodies of its victims. So far, this dangerous incident has been recorded in the cities of Manila, Quezon, and Caloocan. But residents in other big cities are advised to be alert and on the lookout for any suspicious and strange individual. Six residents in Manila have been found dead with their bodies almost mangled beyond recognition. Evidence points to the fact that they did not see their killer coming. This criminals is a professional since no trace of its presence was found at the scene of the crimes. In Quezon, there are three dead, and in Caloocan two dead bodies have been found. Coroners put the time of death of each victim at night. Therefore, if you are in any of these cities, avoid moving about before dark. Lock up your houses when you get inside. We are working closely with the Philippine police to put an end to this situation. The investigation is currently underway but we cannot guarantee your safety when you are outside at night. Darkness provides a cover for these psychopath criminals. Do not leave your workplace late at night. If you must work late into the night, then do not leave at all. In the events of sourcing for foods, do all you can during the daytime when the police response is at optimum. Do not, under any circumstances, leave your house or hotel at night. Repeat, do not, under any circumstances, leave your house as you could be walking directly into danger. Stay where you can be seen. Be sure to report any strange sighting to the police. Report any strange noise around your neighborhood. Call for help if you feel your house is a potential subject of the criminal's attack. Illuminate your front porch at all times. This will help you see the criminal before he or she approaches. More information will be relayed as soon as we get it. Remember, your safety remains our primary concern. Stay indoors. Stay safe. Attention. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Do not turn off your televisions. Do not turn off your radios. Do not switch from this channel. It is important that you pay attention. This message is brought to you by the Safety Department of United State of America's Philippine Embassy. If you are an American citizen in the Philippines, this message is for your own safety. Before you continue listening to this broadcast, make sure you are within the light. Do not stay in the shadows. Have all the lights in your house or hotel room turned on. Move about with torch. The flash of your cell phone can act as a torch but it is preferable to have other sources of light. The Philippine police have found the perpetrator of the crimes committed in recent days. Its capture was not possible because it is not a human being or an animal but more of a dark spirit. It is not clear how it kills its preys and why it does this. But the fact remains that it is highly dangerous. Some expert assumes that it is in a swing. A swang is an umbrella term for various shape-shifting evil creatures in Filipino folklore, such as vampires, ghouls, witches, viscera suckers, and werebeasts. It would be the first time in our modern times that such a creature would appear. It is still too early to confirm that it is this kind of creature since there is little scientific data about them. Do not confront the threat even if you are armed. Firearms, bladed weapons and any other tools have already been used by law enforcement without success. Officers who tried to confront this menace at night with the use of infrared blaster have been reported as the latest victims of this evil spirit. The incident that laid to this is said to have taken place at night. An eyewitness described the spirit as the shadow of the upper body of a man. The eyewitness further claims that he would have been ripped apart if not for his torchlight, which he instinctively shone on the menace. According to him, the menace dematerialized right in front of him with two, unsettling, glowing eyes staring at him. We confirm these facts thanks to a security camera. This video segment will be broadcast in the next few hours on all social media to educate as many people as possible on how to protect themselves. If you know anyone who is skeptical, please take a moment to share the video.
Attention, this is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Do not turn off your televisions. Do not turn off your radios. Do not switch from this channel. It is important that you pay attention. This message is brought to you by the Safety Department of United States of America's Philippine Embassy. If you are an American citizen in the Philippines, this message is for your own safety. An evacuation is taking place and will last for three days. You are instructed to get your bags and start moving away from the following cities, Manila, Quenzen, and Caloocan. Head straight to Ninoy Aquino International Airport for the evacuation procedure being initiated by the U.S. government. We encourage you to travel only during daytime from sunrise to sunset. The U.S. Army will identify you as soon as you arrive and will assign you a personalized code. This code will inform you about the boarding priority order. Aggressive or violent behavior towards the staff or any member of the public will not be tolerated under any circumstances. Move about with your torchlight at all times. Do not attempt to call the embassy. We are currently receiving a higher than normal number of calls. It is also best to conserve your cell phone battery to operate your flashlight. The menace has finally been found again, this time in the northern part of Caloocan. It seems to be moving within the three earlier mentioned cities. Again, reports of death have made it to the airwave. Recently, as much five new dead people have been recently discovered, and the gruesome act attributed to this creature. Forces are closing down on the spirit, but whether they can contain it remains to be seen. The reason for its aggressive acts towards humans are yet to be fathomed. The creature has some sort of intelligence, maybe even one that can compete with ours. Remember, do not try to help trained forces do their jobs. Do not try to be a hero. This creature has been shockingly observed to do the impossible. It has been observed to teleport away from the scene of too much lighting. The reason is not yet known. The creature retreats when under the attack of light. Two white holes appear in the dark mass, which many have described as its eyes. Officers are working round the clock to find the amount of light needed to make the creature weak, so it can be captured and contained. We will keep on screen the coordinates of the airport participating in this evacuation mission. In order to be able to carry as many people as possible, we will limit each American citizen to one piece of luggage of 45 pounds. Do not bring food with you, you will be fed before and during the flight. Get started without delay.